Hello, this is the Radio Geek, and today for you I've got a little uh, radio set up here. I'll show you my uh, setup here as far as the uh, wire and little wire antenna, about six foot long here. I'd show you, show you here, and um, I've got it uh, hooked up to a uh, little preamp, um, and then from there into yeah, I'll my show you my setup here. Got a, about a six foot piece of wire up in the tree there. And uh, that just goes over to my uh, little preamp circuit. And then I've got it going also to the ground there as a ground. And then I have it connected to the other end of the negative. I got it going to the ground of the circuit, the battery there. And uh, this here's the circuit you may have seen in a previous video. It's a little. Uh, AM radio chip radio and what I just did was I uh, I just built this um, preamp and it's uh, Mike's electronic parts the website has this uh, preamp for about uh, $12 it's good for frequencies from I think 100 kilohertz up to 25 megahertz or so so definitely uh, within the AM band which I'm trying to amplify here just runs on a 9 volt battery I've got the gain turned up about maybe a quarter of the way and then I've just got it uh, connected to the uh, output here going over to the ferrite bar antenna where I've just got it inductively coupled to that which is connected to the radio circuit um, the other end just goes to that wire in the tree and to the ground um, so I thought we'd uh, play with a little bit and see what kind of stations we can pick up. Uh, it's in the mid-afternoon right now so we'll see what we can find. Um, other thing here I've got is uh, just the output going into a amplified Radio Shack speaker so we can all hear instead of using the uh, little headphones. I've shown this radio circuit before in a previous video. Um, you guys, I'll see if I can put a link in the description. You guys can check that video out if you haven't uh, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I've got the little preamp circuit, and you can uh, definitely uh, tell a difference. So I'll, I'll kind of play around with that. Uh, it's a little breezy out here, so hopefully you're not getting too much microphone breeze, but you might be. Um, so we'll just kind of play around with it here and um, see what we can do. So right now there is no preamp on, and I'm picking up I'm picking up a Chicago station. I think it's um, WB BBM um, or it could be WGN. I can't remember which I had it tuned to, but um, we'll uh, we'll turn on the preamp and we'll we'll see what it sounds like here. No, wait, I think this is maybe Kalamazoo, but come to think of it. We become friendly here. Over our three or four days, depending on how long the trip is. But to get a little bit of airflow, it's nice to keep the door open. Spontaneously I'll turn the preamp off here. Here's, here's with the preamp off. Turn it back on here. You lost the temper for a little bit. Nothing flew out in the booth. This is true, but it was getting close. 2 2. Popped him up. Right field. 40. He hit over 300 a year ago from Arlington to downtown, 35 minutes in from O'Hare. Of the same headed back out. Eisenhower delays between Mannheim and East Avenue, then California and downtown. 52 minutes now in from Route 390. 42 headed back out. Stevenson still seeing delays between Ashland and Kedzie. It is 30 minutes from Lakeshore Drive to the Tri State. And for personalized traffic on demand, get the Traffic Chicago app. Approved by the mortgage experts of Team Hockberg. Just search T R A F F I X Chicago. The forecast from the WGN Chicago Weather Center today, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms after 4, mostly sunny, high near 80, partly cloudy tonight, 67, sunny tomorrow in 78, clear on Sunday night, low around 68, sunny on Monday, high near 88. 
85 now at O'Hare, it's 85 at Midway, 84 in Racine, 76 along the lakefront. I'm Bob Kessler in the WGN Newsroom, ready to join the conversation live whenever a story changes on Chicago's very own 720 WGN. It's, uh, things are a bit slow on the outbound side. It's 25 minutes Montrose to Lake Cook. On the inbound side, 21 minutes back to the Kennedy Junction. Outbound Kennedy slow, 22 minutes downtown to Montrose, 43 to O'Hare. Inbound, 36 minutes O'Hare to downtown, 22 from the junction. Outbound on the Ike, it's 43 minutes downtown to 390. 46 minutes back to downtown. Stevenson looking slow both ways. Outbound, 37 minutes from Lakeshore Drive to 355. On the inbound side, it's heavy from Harlem to Kenzie. Also a stalled semi on the entrance ramp from Harlem. 38 minutes, 355 to Lakeshore Drive. I-55 northbound slow from Lorenzo to before Arsenal. Right now on the right, slow both ways. Outbound 17 minutes downtown to 95th. 18 minutes back to downtown. I-57 outbound 17 minutes from the Ryan to I-80. No delays on the inbound side. Bishop Ford inbound. It's 19 minutes, 8094 to the Ryan on the outbound side. Solid from 130th to Sibley. All blades blocked at Sibley from that earlier semi crash and fire. So we don't have a travel time for you on the outbound Ford. Southbound Lakeshore Drive heavy from the Elm Street curve to Chicago Avenue. Northbound heavy from Randolph to Chicago. That from past Fullerton and Belmont reports of a crash in that area. The southbound Lakeshore Drive slow from I-80 to the Bishop Ford. Northbound heavy from 111th to the 83rd Street to Toll Plaza, then from the Ike to Balmoral. Eastbound on the Reagan slow from Route 47 to Orchard. Westbound on I-80 solid from 355 to Chicago Street. In northwest Indiana, I-94 eastbound heavy from I-65 to Ripley. Your traffic and weather together on the 8s every 10 minutes on these Radio 780 and 105.9 FM. The WBBM AccuWeather forecast will have a mix of sun and clouds. It's not there. And you know what, you gotta have By the way, we use the word deliberate, but you know, these, these agents, these officers have pretty wide berth of discretion and they have a lot of sense. You said the shower or thunderstorm in spawn and created some really special ones for the fest this weekend. Resin storage systems. They're easy to assemble and resist scratches, dents, and rust. Sponsored by Orthopedic Associates of Wisconsin, there is a difference. Johnny Manhattan's Italian Steakhouse, a classic supper club with casual dining. Enjoy steaks, chops, pasta, seafood, and pizza. Bring the group in tonight. Johnny Manhattan's. Ryan Braun shots it to left center and deep. It doesn't get any better than Mr. Baseball. He just hit a walk off out of here. The soundtrack of summer on WTMJ. There's Wisconsin. The WTMJ. Without uh, without a preamp here. And you look at our guide to buy there we go with the preamp. So how to buy term life insurance is the title of it, and you'll know what you need to do. Just turn it off here. So there you go. That's kind of neat. I really, uh, I really like that uh, preamp uh, circuit from um, Mike's Electronics, Electronic Parts. Uh, like I say, I'll try to leave a, a link uh, there in the show notes there that you guys can uh, check it out if you want to get one. And uh, yeah, I've been having a little fun. I got this um, this little uh, radio circuit out, and I thought I'd uh, try the preamp. I just got around to building the preamp, and it was, uh, it was a fun little kit to build it wasn't didn't take very long at all to build um, it uh, let me just show you here just a second here okay on the preamp circuit here that I built um, I did add a few things um, these little um, terminal blocks I, I had and I added those to it they did not come with the kit and uh, I did damage the original capacitor and I had to replace it with one I had so but other than that, this is the way the um, circuit comes. I did add some rubber feet on the uh, on the bottom 
of the uh, circuit board just so it had a place to sit. You could also screw that down to something if you wanted to um, as well. It was a pretty easy kit, um, not too difficult at all, uh, a lot of fun. Um, I don't know what took me so long to uh, get around to building it, but I think I tend to do that. You just get things and uh, <laughs> don't get around to building them. But but anyway, yeah, it seems to work uh, work pretty good. It really works well for uh, a little radio um, circuit like this, or uh, you know, if you have um, a crystal radio, you want to give a little boost on the um, on the input there of the signal. And then of course, obviously, I've got the audio amplifier just so we can hear it together, not with the earphones. Um, but yeah, it's just that little, you know, a little uh, perf board circuit that I had built up before in previous videos. So if you guys want to check that video out, you can uh, all about that. But uh, anyway, just thought I'd show you guys the little preamp that I finally got around, uh, finally got around to uh, to building it and uh, show it to you guys and uh, give it a little trial run out here outside. It's a nice uh, day for playing radio. So until next time, this is the Radio Geek.